Well, hello everyone. What is going on? It is the Almighty Jeff, and we are here with episode 6, the finale of The Walking Dead 400 Days. In the previous episode, we completed Russell's chapter, which was technically chapter 3, but we did it as chapter 5 because I don't know anything, okay? Uh, <laughs> um, so, yeah, and that also led automatically into the start of the epilogue, but obviously I backed out before that because I wanted that to be the finale of this series. Um, I don't believe it's that long a chapter, obviously I don't really know, because I've never actually played it, but yeah, so this should, shouldn't be too long an episode, I don't think, um, and he's definitely, finally, since like the last time we were actually in sync with the real chronological order was in episode one, <laughs> we are back up to date in where we should be in the story, which I assume is going to be on day 400, thus why it's called 400 Days. Um, so yeah, so let's get straight back into where we left off. Um, I think it goes through the whole introductory cutscene again that we slightly went into at the end of the last episode. So this time we can see for real what's going on. Yeah, well, 400 days in, as I said. We were right. There are survivors out here. Still alive? Well, they're going to be happy to get rescued. So how many are we talking about? Around five? Around five, I think. They left a note, so at least we know they want to be found. And I can see smoke in the distance. Probably a camp. I'm gonna try to make contact tonight. Great. Well, just be careful and use your best judgment. We're building a good community here. We want to keep it that way. Of course. Hmm. So obviously there's the diner, which obviously is where quite a few chapters went on, notably shells and um, Russell's. Holy shit! Good job. Everything okay? So far, so good. I'm gonna try to talk to him. Wish me luck. Yeah, good luck. Be careful. Don't try to force him into anything. Just get as many of them as you can. Hey. Hey. Don't spit. Don't fucking move. Who the fuck are you? My name is Tavia. How did you find us? I found your note. Oh. I'm a scout for a growing settlement up north. We go out and look for survivors to rescue them. We have food clean water, and shelter for everyone. We're offering you a chance to help us out and start over. God, this sounds too good to be true, but I think it is. Bonnie, get real. Just because she says it's true doesn't mean it is. You should know about that. At least what I did was an accident. Hey, that's enough. I heard rumors about these places. This guy I was traveling with ditched me trying to find one in his own. He thought... You know what? Let's do this. She looks well fed, right? And clean? We could all use a meal and a hot shower. Wait, you find survivors? Do you find a lot? Not as many anymore, but... Well, we gotta go. Eddie might be there. Why? Look, we need people. Plain and simple. And you folks can decide if you want to come as a group, or split up, or whatever. But I don't want to be out here in the open after dark. So in a few minutes, I'm going to be getting back in my car and on my way. Hopefully, at least some of you will follow me. Chell, why are we even listening to her? She's obviously lying. Even if she's not, I think it's better to just keep on the move. Staying in one place makes you an easy target. I don't care how safe you think it is. That truck stop was a death trap. It was right off the highway, for God's sake. No way you and a bunch of sick old people were going to defend it. I don't like this, guys. We should just walk away. I don't trust her. Of course you don't, Russell. You don't trust anyone. What would it take to convince you? What will it take to convince you? I don't know. Russell, come on. I don't understand what the problem is. Are you really considering staying out here? Foraging for food like fucking raccoons? I mean, then why did we even leave the photos there? Well, it could be a trap. What if they want to kill us? Thank you. Everyone out there is batshit crazy. We've all seen it. Well, we turned out all right, didn't we? You clearly outnumber me. If you wanted to overpower me, you could. 
Hell, I'll even go along as your hostage until you feel safe. No one is gonna hurt you. That's not a bad idea, actually. And I'll do it. Because I know when you guys see this place, you'll change your minds. Look, I know you guys are wary, and you have every right to be. You don't know me from a hole in the ground. And yeah, there are some crazy fuckers out there. All I'm here to do is make an offer. You can come with me, or you can stay here. The choice is yours. So, who wants to come with me? Hmm. Hey, bunny. Yeah. I'm going. Vince? Yeah. I have to. Buy it? Yes. Got three. At the least. Come on, Shell. No, Shell, Becca. I'm, no, Russell. I'm just not sure. We've been out here for so long and seen so much bullshit. I mean, is it really worth getting our hopes up? Of course it is, Russell. Hope is all we've got left. But being smart... Not by people you know. Alive. Some of you may have been separated from friends or family. It's a long shot, but there's a chance you could find them there. Have your people been through Statesboro? Yes, I think we have. Okay, but I swear to God, if you try anything, you're gonna regret it. We'll do everything we can to help you find your friends and family. But understand that I can't promise anything. We understand. I think we've all made up our minds. Well, I guess we have our group. What do you want to do with these? Hmm. This is a good thing. I know it is. How do we know this will work out? I give you my word. Hmm. Alright, so that's uh that was the choice we make. Whose foot did you shoot off? Um well most people are shot off Justin's foot. Okay, that was sort of a split second decision. Do you stay in the car or get out? We stayed in the car. Well what fifty percent split there, isn't it? Leave Nate or stay with him. Yeah, left Nate, I think it was pretty obvious that choice. Lad to Leyland, most people lied, yeah. Uh, killed Steph, most people didn't. That's probably the one I do live with the most regret with. I think uh, if I would have gone back I would have chosen the other option to leave in the RV. So. Yeah. Huh. So Shell didn't go. She stayed at the camp. Oh, okay. Alright, that's it. That's the end of The Walking Dead 400 Days. What an interesting experience. Um, bit let down that Shell and Becca didn't end up coming with the gang. Um, I don't know if we could have done anything about that, if we could have said something different, made a different choice. I don't know if it's whether you have to pick a certain choice in their episode, or the chapter of sorts, to make decide whether they can come or go. I know obviously um, Bonnie, Vince and Wyatt went straight with um, that lady. I don't know what she was called. I don't know if they ever said what her name was. But obviously they didn't hesitate. And Russell did at first and then obviously we he came with us eventually. So I, I don't know whether if um, we decided to leave instead of kill Steph if that would have caused Shell and Becca to come with, but whatever the choices have been made, um, I'm going to stick with them. Always there's a blind playthrough, nothing's going to go perfectly. There's not going to be like a perfect choice, I guess, so I have to make do with that, 
But yeah, that is the end of The Walking Dead 400 Days, and officially that is the end of The Walking Dead Season 1. This did count as a sort of bonus DLC to that. Um, so we're completely done with that, completely parting our ways with this game. And obviously we got the achievement there for finishing off the epilogue, which is the final achievement for The Walking Dead on Steam. So, of course, as you guys probably already know, the next episode will be Episode 1 of The Walking Dead Season 2. Which will go back to our regular um, multiple hour things. Um, so yeah, that is the last th last time I'm gonna be we're gonna be looking at this Walking Dead screen. Um, yeah, so I'm dead excited for the Walking Dead season two. That is one that I've never played, never seen any gameplay of either. So I hope you guys are excited about that as well. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this series. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe, and also be sure to share the video. And I'll see you guys in episode one of the Walking Dead season two. Everything changes. Bye.